hi everyone how you guys doing welcome to sentimental train for lovers thank you for joining it's a pleasure to have you on board it's always a joy to have you tuned in to my channel all right the title i have for you guys today is how to make your relationship last longer so we wonder sometime why the older generation relationships last longer and us the new generation is having so much difficulties so much struggle to make our relationship last i have 14 um steps for you guys uh, those tips if you guys apply them i believe that you guys will have some uh, success in you guys uh, relationships okay first of all i would like for all of you guys to know and understand that no relationship is better than the other okay i gotta say that from the get-go however if you want a relationship to be good and to be at a level that you want it to be you have to put work at it if you don't work in your relationship it's not gonna last if you don't commit to your relationship it's not gonna last i gotta tell you that right now i believe that the oldest generation relationship lasts longer because they are committed to each other they want the relationship to work they put hard work on it and that's how they last it have they ever have argument yes but we i believe the reason that we get divorced so quickly we get we give up so easily it's because we don't commit we just say you know what forget this why put up with all this when i can find somebody that i don't have to go through this or why go through this when i can have this when i can have that etc etc however i will tell you right now that any relationships need work okay, so let me give you the tips without any further ado okay so 14 steps number one i always say it and i will say it again is communication that's the number one key relationship needs communication if you don't communicate with one another it's a problem so whatever you guys are going through whatever it may be you all need to communicate with one another communication is a big key okay to find any solution if you guys don't talk you guys are not gonna find solutions okay so talk to one another number two is always put each other first always put each other first that's very important I find that a lot of couples are having that issue because they don't put one another first. They always say, you know what, my friends, my family, my sister, my brother, whatever, whoever. It's always something, but your partner always lasts. It's not good. Okay? Put your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, whoever you with first. If you say that the person, the love of your life is the love of your life, you need to put the person first, okay? You have to find a way to prioritize things in order for you to make it work, okay? So it is important for you to remember that the person need your support, okay? Need your support on everything. So always put each other first on things. That's important. Number three. Keep friends and family away from your relationship. That's important. I know some of you guys are very close to family members. And I'm not saying that you need to put your family away or just not to talk to them or neglect them or abandon them. I'm not saying that. Sometimes family members can be a big problem in your relationships. Friends can be a major problem for you guys. So it's important to know which to choose. Okay. So if you decide if you want to have a longer relationship with your partner, you have to know, okay, this person is a really good for my marriage, for my relationship right now. Okay. So if the friend, a friend can be jealous of what you have. A family member can destroy a relationship can just say, you know, I don't like so-and-so, I don't like her, I don't like him, etc. And before you know it, you listen to them, even if you don't listen to them now, sooner or later, their negativity, you will feed into it. So you don't want that to 
get into you and then for you to destroy what you have right now so you have to be careful with that i'm not saying all family members are like that some of them are very destructive sometimes so you have to watch out for that okay friends they can just do anything and everything in their power if they're jealous of your relationship to destroy it okay you, you can have a good thing and because that you are happy and they say that and they're just jealous they just come up with anything just so you can be unhappy so be careful so minimize the talking you do with friends about your man especially i find people talking about their men's business like so much or the woman's stuff so much and then before you know it say wow and it is like, I gotta have her, I gotta have him, you know, because she have a good thing, he have a good thing, you know. Um, why, she she don't deserve it, or he doesn't deserve that. All these things, so you have to be careful of uh, whom you're telling your business. Choose whom to talk to. And then the person you talk to, make sure the person is in you guys' best interest. Not her interest or his interest, but you both interests. okay? So the person not gonna take sides. You have to be careful of whom you talk to. Because if the person doesn't know what a good relationship is, what kind of advice the person can give you? Nothing, nothing important. So be careful. Number four, don't be afraid to let go of people to get closer to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your fiance, okay? Because sometimes too many people in the pot is not good. Don't be afraid to let people go. People are saying that, you know what, if you don't do this, I'm not going to be your friend. If you don't do that, I'm not going to be uh, with you, etc., etc. And before you know it, you find yourself in a situation that you have to choose. So be careful, okay? Um, I know sometimes they say, well, how about if I let so-and-so go? And then the next time I know the person leave me for whoever else. Oh, you know what, I did that once. The person left me and then I ended up by myself, etc., etc. You can't live like that. All right, that's important for you guys to remember. So remember, relationship, any relationship, any relationship is like you're taking a chance, okay? Any relationship. I don't care how long the person be married, the person took a chance of whomever the with. And then they say, you know what? Okay, that was a chance. The chance worked. It worked out. Oh, no, this one didn't work out. But that doesn't mean for you to get into the relationship, wonder if it's going to work that's not a good thing okay so don't do it again don't be afraid to act to get closer to your boyfriend your girlfriend it's important um, as much as you can give the person love as much as you can give the person the attention they deserve so that way you guys can become attached to one another all right number five apologize when you are wrong if you guys know you're wrong don't be afraid to say you're sorry Sometimes you guys pride make you guys don't want to say sorry, especially men. They just like, I don't know, they, their pride is so much, so strong. And they just refuse to say they're sorry. And they know they're sorry. They know they're wrong. But it's just the pride is just eating them up just to open their mouth to say they're sorry. They will find any kind of way around it to come up with all kind of stories, to tell you all kind of stuff. You know, just so the, the word sorry don't come out of their mouth, don't come out. But you, as the woman, you need to have them say it. You have to, listen, you were wrong. You admit, say you sorry and everything's all right. Find a way, I don't care how you do it, how you say it, but find a way to get your men into the habit of saying sorry when they are wrong, okay? So they admit they are wrong. So they, if you get them into the habit of saying it when they are, Believe it or not, when they are wrong, they will come to you and say they're sorry, okay? And you men too, remember, when you're sorry, just just say it, you know, just, just admit it and say it and get it over with, you know? And then um, try your very best, men or women, try your very best not to repeat the same mistake over again. Because when you keep repeating the same mistake, the person tends to believe that, you know what, they're doing it on purpose. Because, hey, you keep doing it over and over again. That's mean you're doing it on purpose. You're doing it to hurt me. Okay, so be careful of that. So when you're sorry, admit it. Man, woman, doesn't matter who you are. If you are sorry, you just say it and then you're done. You're wrong. Say it. You're sorry. Okay? And then life goes on. All right. Number six. Number six. Don't do things to get people's approval. A lot of couples are doing that. 
um, you know, I'm doing this because my mom wants me to do that. I'm doing this because my father wants me to do that. Or my children is not going to be happy. Or my friends, oh my gosh, it's a long time relationship. They're not going to be friends with me anymore. But you're losing something that's going to be good, that, that may be good for you, that's going to make you happy, you personally happy. But because you're trying to get somebody's approval, you let go of it. Or, you know what, the person might say, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done put up with this thing. You always need somebody's approval to, to get me this, to do this for me, et cetera, et cetera. Or, you know, so many things like that. You, you, and you know them. Don't do them. All right. Or tell people your business. That's a big one. I love this man. I love this woman, but I don't think my friends will, will like her or like him. I don't think, eh, you know what? That's the way he smiled. They might not like his smile. They might not like his walk, etc., etc., etc. So all this thing, but your heart is calling out for this guy or this woman, but because you're afraid that what the person's going to say. So therefore you just stop. You just say, you know, I don't think I'm going to do it. But yet you might be losing of something that's going to make you happy. Okay. So remember, it's you and him. That's it. Or you and her. Done deal. Try to please one another and nobody else. Number seven, be true to yourself. Always tell yourself the truth. Okay. Uh, always speak your mind to one another. Don't hold on to things. You know what? Uh, you go to sleep angry. You go next morning. You're angry, or next, or the whole week you're angry. And then the guy, the guy, the poor thing, don't even know what you're angry about, and just doing their own thing. You know, and they say, "Really? You doing this to me? And you don't even know how mad I am? I've been mad with you all week." The person doesn't even know. They can't read your mind. So therefore, you tell them how you feel. Don't fake things. I always tell you guys that don't fake things because when you fake things, it's a mess. You know, you're not being true to yourself. You hurting yourself as a matter of fact at the end. And that's, that's the thing you don't want to do. Okay. You don't want to hurt yourself. The ending result is going to be disaster because the person that you with spend their whole life committed to you. And then at the end of the day, or at the end of the year or whatever, you guys end up breaking up, you know, and the person was into the relationship. Okay. Be true to yourself. Speak your mind. Is something you're not happy about? Say it, you know, tell the person, sit down with the person, communicate. Hey, you know what? I don't like the way you do this. I don't like the way you do that. Let's, let's work it another way, you know? And then the person should, understand what you're trying to say that to to them okay number eight teach one another teach each other things the like the dislike and um, the differences it that's that's another one so many couples they are struggling with example parents sex life they they know what they want they know they want things a certain way in bed but yet they can't tell one another it's just like Ugh. oh my gosh Ugh. it's rolling their eyes in the middle of the night or get upset or bumping their heads everywhere but yet they're unhappy they, 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 oh, why you know why tell the person you know if the person is what's the missing puzzle if the missing puzzle is this to complete the whole thing Tell the person, teach the person, you know, honey, and that's the way you do it too. I, I, I'm not saying for you to be rough with the person or just arguing or fussing. The person's not going to hear nothing you're saying. But as a matter of fact, when you guys are together, um, teach one another, you know, you know what, honey, I'd like if you do it this way. I'd like if you do it that way. And it's better this way. It's better that way. You know what? Keep it there. You know, things like that. Do with it while you in the moment and the person should hear you. You know why you're doing that. And then another thing, men or women, pay attention when your man is telling you something. Pay attention when your woman is telling you something. You know, and then keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. That's what the person like. Okay, that's an example. We close it back. All right. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what it is. Teach one another what you guys like. The differences. You know. You know. When I was at my parents, this is how things used to be. This is how my parents taught me. However, when we become together. 
we can come up with our own path we can do it you know because culture is another thing too you know because my culture may say this your culture said that but you know what let's try to come up together to make it work in a way we teach one another a habit is another thing teach one another you know what this is this is how I am you know um, you know what I understand this was not good you know what? I'm gonna work on it I'm gonna do this and then don't get upset when you guys trying to teach one another then say you know I know it all I know everything not everybody know everything okay we all can learn from one another so it's important to listen okay listen and then follow some people are not good on following yeah, that's a problem too but um, it's important for you guys to communicate with one another teach one another talk to one another okay and then uh, adapt that's another thing so compromise compromise things number nine is stay faithful to each other stay faithful that's a big one fidelity it's very important okay guys um, as much as you can try to stay faithful to one another you all need to um fulfill each other's fantasy okay so whatever the fantasy is do it with one another so that way your eyes can be out of whatever the temptations that comes before you and say you know what i've done it all with my wife i've done it all with my boyfriend so that way you guys can stay faithful knowing each other's fantasy is very important so would you rather be this or would you rather be that would you if i were this or if you were that what would you like what would you prefer you know th talk to one another that way you can get to know each other what each other likes and dislike okay so that way you can know each other's fantasy you know things like that um that way things can work out okay fulfill each other's fantasy um, that way you both stay faithful to one another don't dwell on things a lot of you guys that's number 10 don't dwell on things a lot of you guys um, keep things inside uh, again pride just um, you guys hold things in say so, you know and ne you never forget you never forget that's the problem I will never do this I will never forgive him I will never forgive him well honey you're hurting you're suffering <laughs> Not forgiving somebody is not going to help, you know. But as a matter of fact, you're going to hurt yourself because every time you see the person, you just say, I remember this. I remember that. It's, it's not helping, you know. So um, it's important for you guys to um, forgive one another and, um, and move on, you know. And if there's an argument between you two, you guys can't come up with a solution, agree to disagree okay agree to disagree so that way the argument can stop and then you guys can revisit it at another time you know and then that way you guys can say you know what you remember this and then I think we need to talk about it again so that way you guys can solve it or if you guys can't come up with an agreement an, an agreement what you guys can do I always tell um, friends and family is to uh, find somebody that is older than you guys or somebody that have the uh, or someone that have a better understanding of relationships so that way the person can advise you guys some couples they don't want to go to counseling that's another thing or oh, my husband doesn't want to go to counseling or my wife doesn't want to go to counseling because they think a stranger into our business etc etc okay fine but you guys can also find a friend that is not jealous of you guys relationship that is not that have no interest in you too and that can listen to you both that can listen to you both and then can, that can come up with a solution with you too okay that's another clue so you guys can do that if your partner doesn't like counseling so um, find somebody that can listen to you guys that that do not have interest in you too or that uh, when I say interest in you two, that doesn't see you guys as you know what I, I want this person to be my lover etc okay that can really advise you or a married person that can uh, advise you to okay that that's been in a relationship that lasted longer uh, so that way they can help you guys number 11 acknowledge each other's feelings I've seen that you know what why well, I don't know why you like this. Why you? Why I don't see what I've done. I've done nothing wrong. Why are you feeling this way? You shouldn't be feeling that way. Um, hello, it's my feelings. I know how I felt. I know how I'm feeling. So therefore, you can tell me 
why am I feeling this way? So that's important. When you do when you do this, you you most likely you will piss the person even more when you do that. So, uh, in my opinion, don't do it. So um, it's best to ask. You know what? What can I do to help? What can I do to solve it? What can I do to make it better? What can I do to make it better next time? Okay, you know what, honey? I understand you're upset, but tell me how you feel. Tell me what I've done, or tell me what it is that upsets you. Those are better way to solve the situation. And the person, when you do that, the person will feel that, you know what, you care. You care about the feelings, my feelings, her feelings, his, his feelings, etc. Okay? So that's important for you guys to acknowledge each other's feelings. When you do that, it helps solve the problem instead of putting gasoline, in, gasoline into the fire. So it's important for you guys to remember that. So understand one another. Okay? So if the person doesn't talk, find out why is she not talking? Why is he not talking? That's not like him. You know, so that also is acknowledging your partner's feelings, okay? If you know your partner very well, you will know the person is upset when the person is not talking. Find out, even if the person not talking, find out why the person so quiet. Hmm, let me find out, you know. That also is acknowledge the person's feelings, okay? So number 12. Uh, don't bring the past into your current relationship. I know some of you guys say, oh, you know what, my ex was better. He was better on this, he was better on that. You know what, she was doing this for me and you're not doing that well. You know what, she was better. Don't do that. If you want your relationship to last, this kind of things, you must try your very best not to do it, okay? Remember, the past is the past. Especially when it comes to your partner, you don't compare the person to your ex. So that's important, okay? So um, because the person wouldn't like that. And I'm sure you wouldn't like that either. <laughs> so don't compare the person, okay? Um, number 13. Um, I know some of you guys don't like that term partnership because it sounds like a business thing. It's not a business. I'm not relating that to business uh, partnership. I'm talking about like a team. Like, you know what? I got your back. You got my back. That kind of things. Because when you're a partner, guess what? You, you are in each other's best interest. So therefore, you watch out for one another. Whatever you do, uh, can impact me whatever I do can impact you so therefore you guys have to put your heads together to think about uh, what should I do to make it work to make it best to make it better things like that you do as a partner um, you talk to one another that's that's a partnership okay so um, you communicate whatever decisions that you guys making you you do it together it's not that you don't do Oh, it's I. I want this. I'm supposed to have that. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed, I was supposed to. All this I, 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 put them aside. Partnership is a we. You know what? We would like this. We should do this. We must do that. You know what, honey? I think we should um, think about this. I think we should discuss this. I think we need to do this. You know, I would like this, but I think we could come up with a better decision. You know, it's always together. That doesn't mean you are the person's child, but you guys are partners. So it's important for you guys to talk it out, okay, on whatever it is. Discuss it. If you are with somebody that all they think is I, 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 you got to think about it. You got to think about it or have the person sit the person down and say, listen, we need to talk. You cannot be just you, you, you. It have to be we need to do this. And that way your relationship can have success. Okay. And if you're a person that like to be on an I, I, I thing, you need to change that, that, that kind of conversation. Okay. And put the we instead of the I. <laughs> so if you want your relationship to have a lot of success. All right, number 14, that's the last one. Any careless decisions can impact each other. So remember that. So trust one another, that's important. Trusting is very important. So because I trust you, therefore I will not, I will not do this. Because you trust me, I will not do this. Because I trust you, you will not do this. You know, so, you know, I don't have to worry every time you leave the house, I have to worry where you are, where you do things, how you do things, etc., etc. If there is a trust issue, your decisions will be careless, will be any kind of way. 
so um remember trust is is very important in any relationship if you can trust the person you with there's an issue okay so you have to trust one another trust the person until the person do something that proves you otherwise okay but always trust the person you're with you cannot live in a relationship and saying that you know what i have trust issues i can't trust you you that's not an excuse you have to try you have to try your very best try your best to learn how to trust the person if you don't know ask your partner how you know what help me help me or um read books do research on how to trust someone okay um if you have been hurt in the past if you need to work at it you cannot bring your past into your new relationship because that can be a problem okay and you can have a good man a good woman but because you don't trust him you don't trust her and that can be a major disaster okay so you have to try your very best to um, put you with the person fully okay that's important all right i think that's all i had for you guys for today hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys um learn a few things okay uh if you want your relationship to last longer to have a long term relationship or lifetime relationship work on these things and i guarantee you guys that you will have some benefits you will see the difference you will see the difference and your partner i'm sure will be happy <laughs> okay uh it was a pleasure being with you today hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and uh your comments matters to me so i do read them every day so thank you again for watching hope to see you next time hope you have a blessed day and remember love always wins take care until next time